Hey everybody, how's life treating you? Um, man, I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin with this one. So, with very little preface, I have some good news and I have some bad news. So, the good news is uh, I made it. I not only made it through that nine-day stretch that they put me through at work, uh, which was a, an accident, or I was just covering. Uh, so it's. It's no, like, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the extra hours. That was nice. Um, so the good news is I not only made it through that um, nine-day stretch, but I'm back to regular 32 hours now for the next two weeks, so this week and next week. But I also have some bad news. Uh, I went to PlayStation Plus and logged into my account, or I tried to log into my account, and I was logged out. It asked me to log back into my account, and when I got to my streaming games, all of my data was gone. All of my data was gone. As a matter of fact, PlayStation Plus, place, play, Station Plus app, and then as soon as I went to Ratchet and Clank, um, it was just gone. Uh, Freaking, that means uh, I, I lost. I lost hundreds of hours hundreds of hours. I told Cameron about it and we played uh, Borderlands 3 to get my mind off it. Oh, that was another thing. That, oh, God. That was another bad thing that happened. Trying to restore that data, I uploaded my data, or I downloaded my data from the cloud, but I didn't realize that uh, I was overriding more than just the YouTube app, because it says YouTube app and I don't know why that one pops up first. That's so freaking stupid. But I just select. I selected. Would you like to override this? Yes. Apply to all? Yes. So it overwrote all of my data on PlayStation since like almost a year ago. So all my Borderlands characters that were like on Borderlands 2 about level 60, 70, they're all. My highest level was 32. So I lost all of that I lost all of that which also means um, I looked earlier at I think it was up your arsenal that's gone Ratchet and Clank that's gone going commando gone yeah it's it's all gone it's all gone I don't know what I did originally like I know what happened to my PlayStation data like actually on the system but the cloud stuff I don't understand play history start it's on my list I load it up and it's just not there connect a compatible controller I've also been having trouble with my regular controller as well my wireless controller doesn't want to connect like it I'm, I'm sorry I had to do all this in a vlog. I had to say, I have to say something to get it off my chest. I have to say something. If, like, man, it's it's rough, you know? Uh, the next episode on the channel, and I think I discovered this yesterday, so I was supposed to make a video yesterday, and it was supposed to be uploaded today. I'm like a week behind, and I tried to upload all that stuff from um, um, I, I tried to upload all that stuff from Call of Duty and it's just been Call of Duty live streams and Call of Duty Let's Plays and I didn't even realize that the Let's Plays themselves like when I'm just recording the game there's like no audio from the game itself it's just our mic audio I don't know why it cuts it out if it's not in a stream that makes no sense to me at all no sense to me and I don't really think I should be going right back to this just to see that the data is still not there, but there's always that like little piece of you that just hopes. Like when you see something like that and you're just like, <sighs> like, dude, that freaking, I'm still upset about it. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know. Like, I've heard that your data, like, I've heard that you can't access your save games Look at this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not cutting this. I'm not fast forwarding this. This is ridiculous. This has got to be a PlayStation Plus issue. 
Has, is this happening to anybody else? Let me know in the comments section below what's going on with PlayStation Plus. The reason I wanted to talk about this for my channel is because the Ratchet & Clank series is, has become a major staple of my channel. And since Ratchet & Clank Future Tools of Destruction and the next two games, I believe, actually the next Future Tools of Destruction and um, that Pirate's Booty game, those are both PS3 games. The next one after that is a PS4 title, but you can still only stream it unless you have a physical copy on the PlayStation 4. So, and remember when I tried to emulate uh, Deadlocked, it barely made it halfway through the game before it started crashing, and I had to stop uploading the emulator version of it, and I paid a lot of good money to be on PlayStation Plus not just PlayStation Plus, but PlayStation Premium, so that I could stream these fucking games for my channel. And my data just goes. Pfft. That's that is that is that makes me want to say some words that I'm not allowed to say on this platform. It really does. I'm trying to find all these workarounds. Here's what I here's my vision, right? My my fucking vision. This is all I want to play through the Ratchet and Clank games and finish them. It's taken me years. How many years have I been doing this since Ratchet and Clank? Like seven years? I, but, 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 sorry, I'm going on a little bit of a rant there. At least on my channel, Ratchet and Clank's still there, Going Commando's still there, Up Your Arsenal's still there, and Deadlock's still there. By God, I beat every single one of them on the channel. And that data at least hasn't been deleted by PlayStation. I'm hoping they can't get to YouTube and delete my data. Like, has anyone else's data just gone? Gone! Just gone! What do you mean, no saved it? What do you mean? There's no way! I didn't do anything to it. And everything else is gone too. It's not right. It's not right. And I, and I know this is on my PC. So I went to my actual PlayStation 4, my physical system, and it's gone there too. That's how I wound up in the trouble of re-downloading my data and losing a year's worth of Borderlands 2. Luckily for me, the only game I played last year was basically just Borderlands 2 and uh, Call of Duty mostly. My Borderlands 3 characters may have lost a little bit of data, but my highest level character on there is still level 73, so I don't think I lost too much. But I just want to tell you, unless I can find out what went wrong, or unless I find out it's like a PlayStation issue, I'm going to have to take at least a week to play through this again, get back to where I was, upload my saved data to the cloud, and to a USB hard drive, and just pray to God it doesn't go anywhere. Because I was supposed to record a video yesterday, and I, I, I've, been, I've been out of sorts. I've been out of sorts. Other stuff happened, but you know, nobody cares about that. Uh, I thought my neighbors stole a package from me because my HelloFresh delivery, which is, you know, 50 bucks worth of food, didn't show up, but they sent me an email that said that they had a delivery issue and that it's coming tomorrow, which is now today because it's 3 o'clock in the morning my time. Yes, that's right, I'm up at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's dedication right there because I am the father of this fucking channel and I am losing my goddamn mind. Losing it. I want to go, I seriously just want to go back to playing Eugen and just uploading 20 minute videos of just me playing fighting games because you can't lose. Even when you lose, you don't lose. I got stuck, I've been stuck in puzzles in this game, in those stupid hack puzzles and playing for like two hours to make a 40 minute video and just cutting all that and I hate to just bitch and complain I, I really do because I like I don't want this to be negative I don't want people to look at this and be like I don't want to watch this asshole he's just a negative piece of shit I don't want to watch this guy but I need to, to vent I need to say something this is it sucks it sucks eggs I, I I'm, I'm seriously thinking about just playing only Steam games I've never had an issue with games from Steam but to be fair 
this is only like the second issue I've ever had from PlayStation in like years of playing it since I was like 16 or 17. It was younger than that. I mean, it. well, I'm not counting my PlayStation 2 days because I wasn't uploading videos back then. But yeah, for at least 10 years of uploading videos, I've never had issues with PlayStation. It just, it, I, I just, I'm, 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 I'm hurt. I'm, I'm hurt. I don't understand, and it's it's all the other games too. It's all the other games. I, 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 I. That's actually another interesting thing. I just realized. I didn't realize that this controller. Hang on, maybe it's this button. Yeah, it's it's that button. Oh god. Pardon me. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm trying to do. Now I'm in Steam Big Picture mode, which I don't frickin' need. I almost turned off my own, on my entire computer. Just frickin' turn the whole thing off. Just frickin' turn the whole thing off. And it didn't play my big movie intro. I bought... It didn't... I bought an intro that's supposed to play when you activate big screen mode, and it didn't frickin' do it. I haven't even checked it yet, but it sure didn't work that time. All I'm trying to do is press this button, close this game, and see if I at least, do I at least have my Ratchet and Clank data, like from the original. Because, it's so, it's bull, it's BS, and I'm pretty sure I logged into the same account. Like, I don't have two PlayStation accounts. I just have Russ Robo. It's always been Russ Robo. Technically not, but I changed it like two years ago. But I've been playing PlayStation Plus since then. I'm upset. I'm freaking. I'm. I'm losing my. I'm losing my shiza here. I mean, I've made like 12 episodes, and each one was 40 minutes long. I usually cut about 30 or 20 or 30 minutes out of it in order to get it down beneath an hour. So to get to back to where I was, I'd have to like grind for at least eight or nine hours. I don't know. That's like a whole freaking afternoon. I'm an adult. I don't have that kind of time. I, I, I'm going to try it. I, I'm going to let me know what you think in the comment section below. Because um, I made some progress on Super Market Simulator. I'm ready to make an episode on that. Now, now you watched me. All of you, well, hopefully, a lot of you, but you know, if you're watching, you saw me play this on PlayStation Plus, this king app. I played it, I've got proof I played it. I've got proof. There's 12, 15, 20 videos of it. Single player, load. It's on the channel. I played it. I I know I played it. I played it. I played them all. I knew it wasn't going to be there. Why am I so upset? Why am I so angry? I knew it wasn't going to be there. I got it. I got this. Did something happen to PlayStation Plus cloud save data? PlayStation Plus cloud storage works differently depending on whether you're streaming or playing a downloaded game. I was streaming them. Streaming. Save data is stored on PlayStation Network, so you can pick up your game on another device without taking any additional steps. Well then, where the fuck's my data? Downloaded. Save data is saved to your console storage. Well, that's that's pointless because I didn't download them. I don't understand. You can check the status. You can check the sync status of your games on PS5. By selecting sync, save data, view sync data, status. Yeah, ah. But, but my subscription is still active. If you cancel your PlayStation Plus subscription, you'll still be able to use it until the current billing period ends. After that, you won't be able to access the subscription's benefits, including online storage. But my subscription is still active. reading 
I'm sorry. How does cloud data work regarding... I, and it's all gone at once. Think about this. It's all gone at once. So I didn't just get drunk, go to each and every single one of my Ratchet and Clank games, all four of them, and delete each one of them. One by fucking one. I've been drunk, but I've never been that drunk. I'm pissed. I am pissed. And I have a right to be pissed. Like, that's why I'm asking online. Something's wrong. It can't just... It can't just be... Like what? Somebody hacked PlayStation? And deleted everybody's data? Did someone hack PlayStation? That's a story from 2011, so that's that's irrelevant. I, I don't understand what's going on. When was this? How big was the breach? The Sony data breach affected approximately 77 million PSN accounts, making it one of the largest security breaches of its time. The attack forced Sony to shut down the PSN for nearly a month, leaving millions of gamers unable to access the network services in July 18, 2024. It has been that long. Like that, that, the breach was attributed to a sophisticated attack by a group of hackers, this is going to get demonetized, I'm not allowed to say any of those words, who exploited vulnerabilities in Sony's network. The attackers used a combination of uh, phishing techniques they want, they want, they want credit card data. They don't want my save games. Financial losses, reputation damage, legal repercussions, impact on employees, e imp impact on customers. I'm scrolling, sorry, I'm scrolling on my phone. Millions of customers were directly affected by the breach with their personal information compromised. Sony provided resources for users to mon mo monitor their accounts and offer identity theft protection services. Well, I obviously need to take my credit card off of there. Sensitive, including encryption of sensitive data on a regular security audit Sony off. But data encryption, strong password policies, incident response plan, strong. It doesn't say anything about anyone losing save data. I just don't understand. Have other players lost save data on PlayStation Plus? Something's up, you know? And of course, it has to be an article from this year. Six months ago, I don't think that's relevant. Actually, this might be relevant. Six months ago, but I've played since then. Yeah, we're looking for something about my last episode. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My last episode of Ratchet and Clank, Future Tools of Destruction, was about two weeks ago. We're looking for something that happened two weeks ago. But I'm not seeing anything. Does PlayStation Plus delete cloud saves? I'm thinking of canceling PlayStation Plus until I feel like I need it again, so I wonder will my cloud saves still be there when I reactivate? I think they are. And mine, again, I'm still active. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. And when I went to my console and looked through my physical storage, it, it wasn't there. You know, none of the Ratchet and Clank games were there on the physical hard drive because I never physically downloaded them because you can't. They're stream only. So, but I'll, I'll get back to you with that. The next episode is going to have to be um, Supermarket Simulator. I just wanted to say something to y'all out there in case you've been waiting for the next episode of Ratchet and Clank and it hasn't been showing up. I don't know why PlayStation decided to do this to me. I don't know. 
I don't know who I hurt. I don't know what old Russ Robo ever did to anybody. That's that's part of the reason why like I'm gonna I'll be on Call of Duty for a little while. I gotta I gotta I gotta see I gotta see if I can um get back to where I was in the game or if I even can. But uh until then, uh back up your data on the cloud and on an external hard drive if it's not too late. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow in the next episode of uh, Supermarket Simulator. Me and Ezekiel have made some progress. I've got a new uh, cash register and I've got some new things. You'll see it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. These things happen, Russ. These things happen.